Hello everyone and welcome to another The Isle Concept Analysis, a series of videos where I discuss about upcoming dinosaur concept arts released for Evrima. Today we will explore Monolophosaurus, its real-life counterpart and how it's going to be in Evrima. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy the video. Monolophosaurus giangi, meaning single crested lizard, was a mid-sized theropod from the Middle Jurassic 160 million years ago that preyed in the dense jungles of what is now China. Mono finds itself in a very unique situation. This creature is so ancient that it's classified as the most basal member of the Carnosauria, an extremely vast group of predatory dinosaurs that existed during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. This group includes most large carnivores that lived during the Mesozoic, including all members of the Spinosauridae, Megalosauridae and Allosauridae families. However, despite that, Mono doesn't belong to any of them, being a completely isolated species. That isn't to say that all this information is conclusive, the fossil records of this dinosaur are so minimal that its origins are still highly debated, so don't be surprised if this becomes outdated in the future. Measuring 18 feet long and weighing little more than 475 kilograms, Monolophosaurus was a relatively small carnivore that mostly preyed upon flying reptiles and small dinosaurs, not really being at the top of the food chain at the time. Its most distinct feature, of course, is its large singular cranial crest, going from the tip of its snout to its eye sockets. Its crest was mostly made of dense nasal bones and it might have been used for sexual display, however, that is not fully confirmed. We begin right away with the introduction of Mono's main feature. It appears that they can sneeze on command, releasing a thick mucus that can latch on most surfaces. From the illustrations we can see that this ability can be used in multiple ways. It can be spilled to the floor, creating some form of trap that contaminates whoever steps on it with a stingy smell or it can be thrown directly to a targeted dinosaur, causing the same effect. However, the latter does seem to also cause an undetermined side effect looking at Nonto's reaction to it. By the concept art, the stench that the mucus produces can only be sent by Mono, making it an extremely useful tracking tool. Although its stalking capabilities don't seem to make it a competent predator by the seemingly poor performance of these two specimens being hesitant and even afraid of attacking a singular baby. With Babyosaurus being so far at the bottom of the food chain, it begs the question as how will Monos thrive in such a hostile environment where nearly everything is apparently superior to it. Monos do seem to be a very stealth-focused dinosaur though, seeing this specimen hiding and quickly escaping from an Allosaurus, which would perfectly fit its talking mechanics previously mentioned. And here we have a scene of possibly their courting animations, but for most people the most interesting portion of this illustration is the full confirmation and reveal of Rugops in the background. The concept structure is well made, giving important information regarding the dinosaur's playstyle and gimmicks in a clear way. That has been the case for the past few concept arts, and this one is no exception. What is also no exception is the rather confusing choices for their specific dino's playstyle. We know that Mono is around the same category as Yuta and Dilo, however, unlike neither of them, it doesn't have any combat-specific abilities. It doesn't deal bleed, doesn't produce venom, the only thing that was shown here was their very precise tracking mechanics, which on its own wouldn't be problematic in the slightest, but just because you can track it, doesn't mean you can kill it. The choice of putting Homer and Baby in these illustrations are of great importance. Both dinosaurs are of very small size, but their major difference is that one can't defend itself, but the other one can. So seeing Monos, two of them no less, hesitating engaging in combat against one of the smallest dinosaurs in the entire game, how will they survive against the rest of the roster? Keep in mind that skilled Yutas can kill Stegos, and even if Dylos are physically weak, they will still possess their strong venom to compensate. So Monolophosaurus being in the same category, but implied to be much weaker than both its counterparts, 
it's a very worrying precedent to its viability in game. Obviously, this isn't set in stone and the game balance will affect the dinosaurs in a very impactful manner. Utahs are a good example of such. In their own concept art, it is implied that they will prefer to avoid fighting Carnos, when in game, a pack of raptors have no problem dealing with them. This can also happen with Mono, becoming much stronger than how it is being portrayed in the concept. But that is in case they don't balance in correctly. The developer's intentions are to clearly make it a weak stalker that heavily relies on stealth and its precise tracking capabilities. The issue with that is that if they aren't capable of killing anything, in theory of course, what is tracking for to begin with? Maybe the carcass in the middle is hinting at their preference for a necrophagus diet, but if that was the case their tracking mechanic would be useless. Mono doesn't seem badly designed, but rather unfinished. It feels like something on its kit is missing, something that would help it have a broader range of prey, since it is clear that very small dinos will be the intended main food source for them. Hopefully in the future we will have a clearer vision of its playstyle and viability in game. But until then, I cannot stop but worry about how this beautiful dinosaur, great model by the way, will settle in the game's ecosystem. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for all the trackers showcased recently? Share your thoughts and opinions down below. If you want to watch previous concept analysis, there will be a playlist available in the end credits. If you are also interested in discussions about the Isle and its future, check out the rest of my content. A huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel and the content I create. If you want to join the ranks, the link will be in the description. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinions down below, join our Discord server for memes and billion stuff, and hope to see you next week.